Calendly tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Calendly, which is a online software that is for used for scheduling and appointment creation. So let's get into it. So you can see this is the homepage of Calendly and they basically streamline your workflow and make appointments and all of that communication a lot more easier without having to deal with messy emails. So you can see over here that you're just going to sign up using your email. You don't need to add any credit information uh, because this is a free software. So that's a very good thing about Calendly. You can streamline all of your work without having to pay for any extra services. You're just gonna set up your account using Google and you can even integrate your Google Calendar into Calendly, which is a very great feature. So I'm just gonna set up my account over here and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Now, once you've entered some of your personal details, Calendly is actually going to ask you your usual available hours. So we're just gonna select the usual times that you're available on. So Calendly can set up meetings on those times without having to constantly ask you for permissions and having you to constantly check your calendar and confirm meetings and all that hassle. You're just gonna give Calendly a set time that you're available. So let's just say you're only available between four to 5 p.m. for meetings, but you're available seven days a week. You're going to continue with that and then you're going to personalize your experience by adding your day-to-day -day role at work so what kind of specific job title you have uh, you're going to add that so maybe you are a person that is in education maybe you're a teacher or a student even and a helper maybe a lab attendant maybe a teacher's go you know a teacher's shadow teacher maybe you're just learning that and now you're just gonna see the Calendly dashboard. Now this is the Calendly dashboard. It's pretty neat. It's not very overwhelming. It doesn't, you know, bombard you with all these kinds of tabs. It's pretty neat. At the top, you will see your home, availability, integrations, help, and then your account details. Okay, so then you have over here your My Calendly. So you have your event types, your scheduled events, and your workflows. So you can see at your event types, you can have 15 minute meetings, 30 minute meetings, 60 minute meetings. So let's just say you want to set up a new event or a meeting or anything of that sort. I'm just gonna click on new event type. You're gonna set what kind of event it is. So if it's, if it's a one-on-one -on -one thing, if it's a group kind of meeting, you're just gonna set that, you're gonna create it. Then you're gonna name the event. So let's just say lunch. You can add the location if you want and this is a very great option that they provide so you can set a specific address if you're meeting in person but if it's just a phone call meeting you can add that as well google meetings you can have zoom meetings you can have microsoft meetings go to meetings any kind of custom platform that you're using or you may even ask the person inviting to the meeting that how they might want to be contacted for this meeting so let's just say we are doing a zoom meeting and i haven't integrated zoom so it's not going to allow me to do that it's very easy to integrate stuff you just click on integrations and then you can you know add any of these softwares that you're using for your business or your just personal organization uh, you can add any of these and integrate them i haven't done that but uh, it's just very easy just click on it like that and then you can connect zoom and then you will be easily able to add that. I'm just gonna add it as a in-person meeting and let's just, you can add a summary or anything that you might want to tell about the event. Then you can add a event link. So whatever kind of web page you might want to create for this event. Then you also have your event color. So you might, if you're in a very professional business, you might, might want to keep it in the blues and greens. Don't go for pinks and purples. Uh -huh. so, and if it's something urgent, you might want to make it red. So let's just keep it green. Let's just click on next. And then you have your date range. So calendar days within a date range. Let's just say you want this meeting to happen within maybe, let's just say you want it to happen within the next two weeks, you're going to apply that. So within this date, you want this meeting to actually happen. And then you're going to set the duration of the meeting. So let's just say you want it to be a 13 minute meeting. Now, 
if you want to offer your availability for this event, you can use your existing schedule or add custom hours. So as we previously picked our own uh, availability, we picked it as 4 to 5 p.m. We're just going to use the existing schedule. And then you are just going to add a time before or after your event. So if you want to add that some, you know, extra time, maybe the assistants need to be present before before their CEOs arrive or maybe you know security needs to clear out after the people leave anything like that you can add that over here and then you're just going to click on next and now this is the invite it is ready to accept you know invitees people can join this meeting and they can see the timing, the details, what it's for, where it's at, what the description is, and what time it will take for the meeting. Now, also, there are a lot of additional options. You can answer invitee questions. So if there's a frequently asked question, you can answer it by, you know, adding, you know, any extra information that you might want to. So if someone has to present a presentation or someone has to do something specific for the meeting, you might want to add that over here and add the guests and let them know beforehand so they are well prepared for your meeting. There can also be a payment um, method added to your meeting. You can also have a confirmation page so people can confirm if they're actually going to be joining you or not. And then you also have your notifications. That's just if you want to be notified if someone is coming to your meeting or if they're not. So that is just how easy it is to set up your events on Calendly. And now I'm taking a look back at their basic dashboard. Now, once you have a hang of how to create these events, just delete these, you know, automated events that they create at the start when you are just creating your account and create your own events. So let this load. And now just like that, you can create more events. And let's just say that you want to create a new event once more, then you can add it as a grip event. Let's just say it's for sales. And you can say it's just custom, update it, add your description, whatever it might be. So since we're doing sales, let's just say strategy, the event link, and the max invitees. So how many people do you want to invite to this event? Especially in the current circumstances of the world, we know that there can only be a specific number of people at one place. So maybe let's just say we have maximum 12 slots available. And now you want to display, you can choose if you want to display remaining spots on the booking page. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to set your duration, your calendar days, or if you want it to be indefinitely into the future, if you want it to be within the next 60 days into the future, or if you want it to be within a certain date range. So maybe you want, it, want this meeting to occur between the last two weeks of September. And then you can use your working hours, you can use your existing schedule, or you can even set up custom hours. So while setting up custom hours, maybe on Sundays, you won't be available for this meeting or on Saturdays for this meeting, you're not available, but you're going to be available from 3.30. And then on Fridays, you're going to be available till 7, 3.30. And that's how you can change your uh, weekly hours for a certain event. Or you can just use your standard ones, but if this is a special event, you can change your weekly hours. Now you can also add a buffer before or after your event. Buffer is just the intermediate time between your events. And this will just separate your event from other stuff that's happening. Now you're just going to click on next and then you have it saved. So people can just click on your link and then they can select a date and then they can see the spots that are available. They can click on 430 and confirm and then they can add their name, email and any question that they might have and schedule their event with you or within the group. So that's how easy it is going to be to use Calendly for your management. Now, another tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that you actually set up your account. So don't leave it blank and empty. Go to your account, go to your account settings and make sure to actually upload your picture, add your welcome message, add your language, your date, your time format, customize it to 
what you um, want and you can see on the left side there's branding and make sure you actually add your branding so if you have a logo at that if you want to create some calendly branding you can turn it on or off and make sure to make it look professional make it look serious and make it look like your actual business portfolio don't treat it as just a side thing make sure that people actually know this is you that they're setting their meeting up with they don't think that this is some kind of weird third-party app that you just recommended to, to them so this will just make it look and feel more authentic so that was it for you guys i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and you are now able to streamline all of your work using calendly so i will catch you guys in the next video